social media, people also sell out. On social, social media, people also sell their souls. What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? There is such a thing as selling out on social media. Everybody want to be an influencer. You want to know why? Because they want to make money and they want a lifestyle. But what they don't know is in order to be a social media influencer, you have to sell out to the beast. It's all digital. You have to willingly sell your soul by compromising your morals, values, ethics, and so on and so forth. We got the brothers. You know what I'm saying? You got hey, new man. man. Shalom, everybody. What's up? What's up? Hey, listen. <laughs> Real business is getting done. You already know what time it is. Um, and this is what it's about. A lot of y'all online, and you know, y'all got a lot of negative energy, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of things to say. But are y'all actually linking up, getting the work done, making moves, and making things possible? Right. Real talk. And that's the problem. Everybody's doing a lot of talking, but they ain't making no move. Let's do a quick recap of how we got here. Last month, Pastor Dowell evicted Pastor Rufus from one of his homesteads in Straightway, Georgia, and he publicly shamed him in the process of doing so. This opened up a can of worms as this news came across the desk of Ringo TV, who once supported Dow and has a traumatic history a church hurt at the hands of the infamous corrupt Buffalo Dollar. Ringo TV saw that Dow was bad for business and quickly parachuted, as he always does, dropping Dow like a hot bowl of grits, throwing his longtime supporter under the bus for about 15 live streams. That's one whole month of content. Meanwhile, I believe Pastor Rufus put the battery in New Breeze back to start a community while things were still hot and it had the people's attention. And Dow's name was muddied in these YouTube streets. Also, keep in mind that during their fallout, Pastor Dow stated that Ringo TV lives in the slums of New York in what he calls population centers. Now, since he said that, Ringo TV has made the decision to move to North Carolina searching for a new house. So what's really going on here? At the heart of Ringo TV exposing Pastor Dow, believe it or not, is covetousness. To tear another man down, to build himself up. When he saw that Pastor Dow got a new Cadillac truck, he went out and got himself a new car. Pastor Dow obviously has built a bunch of homesteads. Now all of a sudden Ringo TV wants to build better than Pastor Dow. Now Ringo TV and Norbreed are taking their wickedness to a new level, demonizing people like myself for using the scriptures to question the directive of this initiative. But look, how long y'all gonna so-called keep the law, statutes, and commandments before y'all start building with each other and um, actually building something that we can call our own and, and actually make it move? Right. You know, everybody got this religious spirit, but are you about your business? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they connected to the religious part of it and getting that dopamine release online when you need to be, you know, taking advantage of the people and building those relationships. And I mean taking advantage of the people, I mean those relationships, taking advantage of the people you have access to, which is the people that's online. You can get off that off that computer and meet people. In the real world. In the real world, right. Yeah. And that's the problem right there. It's like the other day, Newbreed made an announcement. He said, um, something along the lines of he's not he's disassociating himself with the Israelite community and people took it as if though he left his faith or he denounces faith or he's starting some pagan religion and all this other nonsense. And I'm like, look, what the man is say basically saying is he denouncing these cliques and these groups on social media that always congregate to talk, 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 but nobody's working. This is why it's important to keep receipts because guys like Ringo TV will parachute. He will parachute and swiftly change the narrative. I challenge anybody that's listening to me that has an issue with polygyny to provide scripture so that I can embarrass you. I would love for anyone to challenge me. I would love for anyone to step forward. Come forward. I challenge and welcome everybody. All of you scholars, all of you, you Bible thumpers, 
all of you Christians, even you Israelites that are lost, who believe in monogamy. But I challenge anybody to come forward to prove that polygyny is sinful. You see, this is how I was introduced to Rango TV, as I'm sure many other people who've watched his videos. OK, we've been introduced to his false doctrine. And there are a million things he has said and done that will cause even potential investors to hesitate to do business with him because he's always hanging around the wrong people. The people who he hangs around always somehow ends up betraying him or doing something to make him look bad. He has a bad judgment of character. He's very messy. There's always some drama around this dude. And this is why it's hypocritical of him to try to separate church and state. Because there's never been a separation of church and state. The founding fathers, they were deists. These Edomites, they're the ones who came up with that concept. Okay, because they don't care about serving the Most High. Okay, they wanted to do slavery and all this wickedness. So they're the ones who came up with the idea of church and state. Morality, or the lack thereof, is always judged. And people always base that on whether or not they're going to do business with you. To get support for business, you need people to know, like, and trust you. How can they trust you when you're double-minded? And allegedly, you may have even played pranks on the people trying to finesse more money out of them when you have no intention on moving forward with this land initiative. So wherever there's smoke, there's fire. Wherever there is trust or mistrust, morality or immorality, church and state are always one. Because I doubt if you would do business with a man who was smashing your wife. You see that? But when it comes to the word of God, they like to play all these games, picking and choosing when they're going to expose, then when they're going to call those who expose their evil deeds self-righteous or religious. No. Your platform is built off of religion. It's how we have come to know you. This man, Ringo TV, he's condemned Mr. Beast. As you heard earlier in the video, talking about him selling his soul, that's what you got to do to sell your soul on YouTube. I mean, he's made numerous videos, Brad Mouth and Kevin Samuels, Pastor Dow, Preflo Dollar, and women who believe in monogamous marriage. So don't try to switch up now like you're all of a sudden this businessman. You use Pastor Dow's adultery to segue into this initiative. You're very messy. You're covetous. Wherever you go is a TV show. Everywhere you go is always some type of drama. This Negro did an eight-hour live stream talking about a confrontation with some white boy who was supposedly, allegedly, a fan of his. That kid wasn't even a threat to you, dude. You made an eight-hour live stream. It's always some drama. Just to get you idiots who support this clown to give him some money. This Negro left the North Carolina and came back with more drama for a TV show. They didn't come back with no initiative, nothing to post on YouTube, something in writing, stating a plan, something, something that they have outlined that, that they're doing. They didn't do any of that. Okay. It's all to just get attention. These dudes are servants of hell. None, why am I even talking about this? It don't even make no sense. It's not making us grow. Exactly. And this is the problem with why you got to disassociate yourself with these YouTube uh, Pharisees, where all they want to do is congregate and talk about nothing. You know what I mean? Right. It's one thing if you're addressing a real issue that's affecting the community, but it seems like on YouTube, you can't get brothers to join to build anything. But what we, what we will join to do is tear down people that are actually doing something. Yep. You know what I mean? Now, yes, P. Diddy Dow is an adulterer. You know what I mean? But what he is doing is, he is building. Can't deny that. 
He is building. He can always use that as a weapon. And I ain't going to knock it. He is building. But the man is guilty. So what he's doing is he'll hide behind, I got the fruit. But his fruit is rotten still. He is building. But he's doing wickedness. And that's what I call out. I'm not calling out the fact that the man is building. Ain't no, ain't no doubt, don't doubt about it. He is building community and X, Y, and Z. I respect it. That's why. That's what all the brothers got disappointed about is because we seen the right. building. Right. We seen the community stuff. So to hear the man is in adultery, it's like, nah, bro. You see how this hypocrite just combined church and state again, talking about how rotten Pastor Dow's fruit is because of his adultery. Well, according to your logic, that shouldn't matter because he's building while you're talking about his adultery. For real, and, and we see now we also get to see you know some of the mistakes logistically that they made in straightway, and as well as how you know how he treated former members and, and whatnot. And we want to avoid all of that type of stuff. We're not coming in no preeminent spirit. We're not trying to intimidate people in none of that, man. A lot of people don't realize like what we're doing with the land initiative. We're offering an olive branch for everybody to get involved. It's your land. You know what I mean? It's like free land. It's not free land. You once admitted that you do not own the land, that there is a land purchaser. Okay. So you guys are just making proposals. The land purchaser dictates what can and cannot be done on the land. And we're saying, look, let's, let's start a business there. Let's generate different streams of revenue. Let's really get something popping. Right. But you know, these people, it's like apples and oranges with them. They have they still stuck on religious conversations. And you can't have a church and a community in the same in the same breath. You have to separate church and state. Got and that's the issue with a lot of these uh these Pharisees and scribes. They want to rule and uh, you know, rule over the people and hoard souls. That's not what this is about. We really follow when truth is actually, you know, getting the legwork in and getting this done. Well, good luck explaining that to the Most High in the Day of Judgment. Did God separate church and state when he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah? Will God spare Esau for using the separation of church and state to institute the transatlantic slave trade? There is a such thing as satanic employment. And both of these men are double M W D O, making money with double obligations meaning their repentance needs to produce works worthy of repentance like the scriptures say okay scriptures say the sacrifices of god is a broken and contrite spirit you cannot serve god and mammon if ringo tv were ever to truly repent the most high would tell him to shut down his channel it's too much folly too much false doctrine too much profanity the root of his tree is corrupt. You got to tear the whole thing down. If you truly want to repent, if you're sincere about repenting. And even if he did the work and edited out all of the leaven in his message, majority of his audience is subscribed to the old Ringo. Okay. So that may mean the end of your YouTube career, your repentance. That's what I mean by satanic employment. The devil don't get screwed on the deals he makes with men. That's why Christ told the rich young ruler, don't sell everything you own and give it to the poor. Okay? Because the rich young ruler had devil obligations. The way that he made his money was under satanic employment. Don't let your flesh write checks. Your soul cannot cash in the afterlife. It's about fates and gates. You gotta have faith and you're gonna need God's grace.